Hi, this is Rod Pippen, the Loan Doctor in Ogden, Utah. In the past, when the Fed lowered the Fed fund rates, such as they did today, mortgage rates have actually gotten worse. And I know that seems counterintuitive at first, but let me explain why. Fed rate cuts do not have a direct impact on mortgage rates. Mortgage rates are set by watching mortgage-backed securities, which are bonds that are bought and sold on Wall Street, just like any other stocks. When the Fed cuts the Fed fund rate, most often this serves to push mortgage rates in the opposite direction by fanning fears of inflation. Inflation is the worst enemy of mortgage bonds because a fixed rate mortgage provides the investor with a fixed rate return for a long period of time. As inflation goes up, the buying power of the investment is eroded because it costs more dollars to buy the same amount of goods and services. So if inflation is on the rise, investors will demand a higher rate of return to compensate them for the more rapid erosion of buying power. In today's economy, inflation is it's expected to, to rise. In response, interest rates on long-term bonds, like mortgages, have moved higher. So, so think about it. A move to tighten or raise rates by the Fed is designed to slow inflation. Slowing inflation is good for mortgage bonds as the future buying power of money is greater. Lowering rates, on the other hand, usually results in higher and higher rates for mortgages because it stimulates the economy, lowering the buying power of future money. Seems crazy, but Fed fund rate hikes usually bring mortgage rates down, while lowering the Fed fund rates usually results in higher mortgage rates.